find better or deeper inquiry? By the questions they ask. Yes, but what is a what is a good one? What is a great one? What good is a better question. one? Who makes the decisions and how do you arrive at them? Does Jack design all the cities? Does he submit those designs to architects to get their opinions? No, he doesn't. Because architects are mostly self-centered and their buildings express their ego, not social buildings, to make it more comfortable for people, to make life better for people. The cities have to be designed so people can get together and talk to one another. There has to be beautification, beautiful nature in the city. If people just move into a city and it doesn't interest them, it doesn't inspire them to even ask questions, why is the city round? Uh, what's the matter with a linear city? Architects don't even know what the problem is. You ask anybody, what's the problem today? Well, it's hard to talk to people. I mean, you don't know how to talk to the average person. Is that what you mean? You have to know what they mean. So when a person says, I don't think your city will work, I can't do anything with that. If they say, all your traffic comes to a head and there's no way to get out of that, then I can do something. Right. But I can't do anything with, how do you know it will work? Uh, do they really want to know or they want to win the argument? Right, right. I have to try to understand the grammar of motives. Yes. Whether the person is asking a question or whether they just want to be heard. Yes. I don't like your round cities, they're boring. I can't do anything with that. But if a person says, why is your city round? I can do something with that. Is there a place for improvement? Can the average person make recommendations? Yes, but not to me, they make them to a computer. So if they make a recommendation, the computer will answer in different ways. That's a good suggestion, we use it, or that was done in 1927 in Brasilia. It didn't work. Right. Well, what is the means of verification that you use? You have to ask questions. How does your transportation work? What's the matter with a linear city? Yes. What does a city, what is a city designed for? I don't want to be too far from the food shopping and I don't want to drive one hour to your city to get food. I want to be nearby. If you spend one hour driving to work and one hour coming back, you're, you're wasting your own time on the company. And if you buy certain clothing you're, and you shave, all that should be supplied by the city or the people you're working for. But if you dress and have your car serviced to get to the city, you're not earning enough to take care of your car because you only use your car to go to work. And when it wears out, the city ought to pay for it. And I agree. So I, agree. I believe that the whole city should be designed to serve the needs of the people that work there. No architect designs a fancy city to impress people. You design a city to serve the needs of the people. Yes. Now, I came up with a round city because if you work in the educational department, the housing is here. You can live here if you choose to. If you work in the agricultural department, you can live here, but you can actually live any place you want to. But if you live adjacent to where you work, you don't spend hours driving a few minutes to get to work. But if this is a series of buildings, we arrange the plants in an S pattern. So you can't see another building. You live in a beautiful <coughs> garden. It's by arranging the plants in a system that gives you maximum security. Now if he likes dogs, he's got 10 dogs, and they shit on your lawn, that's an intrusion. So yes. if he wants 10 dogs, the dogs have to be conditioned not to leave his area, unless it's an intrusion. 